are you serious? Are you serious? We ha I, I want to thank Stephen of Oklahoma for getting a hold of me. Uh, even Rachel Maddow has just announced that it looks like it is true that Iran, the Iranians, have released five Al-Qaeda operatives. I mean, are you serious? This guy, his name is Saif Al-Adil. Now, he actually took over leadership of Al-Qaeda temporarily after the uh, death of Osama bin Laden. Now, think about this. The Iranians release, for no reason at all, they release the five most notorious Al-Qaeda operatives in the world. This guy right here has a $5 million bounty on his head. They release the five worst they have. Now, Obama released the five worst we had at Gitmo. Do you remember that? That's so we could get back Bergdahl. So President Obama let the five worst radical Islamic jihadists that we had. And now the Iranians have released the five worst they got, which is Al-Qaeda operatives. Yet, no, but yet, yet we couldn't get our own four Americans out of Iran including the preacher, Saeed Abedini. Can somebody tell me what's going on? Has the world went completely mad? Is radical Islam joining forces with the Illuminati? Is the new world order in the process of forming? All of this going on while Russians getting hit by the Muhyiddin in Syria while Israel's getting hit with rockets out of Gaza from the Hamas, funded by the Iranians. I mean, as the whole world went crazy, the Middle East is insane. And we can't seem to get any answers either. But maybe they will. The United Nations is going to get together next week. Maybe they'll solve the world's problems. Because they're saying this Iranian nuke deal has just brought peace and safety. Peace and safety. The Bible says when they say peace and safety, then come a sudden destruction. And I think that we're on the verge of that. I'll try to keep us up to speed. Look, guys, I can't pronounce all of the Muslim names correctly or the Arabic names. I can't pronounce all the Russian names. Matter of fact, I have trouble with some of the American names. But one thing I will do, I'll stay on top of what's going on I'll give you information's not been reported in the mainstream media. I'll take a look at it from a biblical perspective. I won't choose sides. I'll only tell you that Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Because we are living in the last days. And you do not, repeat, you do not want to be left behind to face the wrath of God. Because it is coming.